Okay, so van stuck is out the hole. It didn't take many minutes to be honest. Uh, I found a couple of found a couple of rocks uh, that someone's using for campfires to keep it safe. I put just put it behind the wheel. Uh, stuck it rolling back back into that bog. Uh, and that gravel you can see there worked loads better than the wood, if I'm honest. So what did I do? I got my washing up bowl out, which is over there. Walked over to the other side of the road, and there's a load of gravel at the side of the road, look. So I picked up a bowl full of that. Chucked half a bowl under each side. Uh, waiting overnight has helped extremely. Uh, bad choices are made in in these kind of circumstances all over the world every day. Uh, you should give yourself time. You should give yourself at least ten minutes. If you've got two minutes, you should give yourself ten minutes to to think. I know that sounds ridiculous, and how could you possibly? But uh, that is survival rule 101. Uh, luckily, this is not a life-threatening situation. Um, but always take time out. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you, uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll get rid of that. Uh, yeah, you should always take time out uh, to avoid making poor decisions. Uh, and these poor decisions for mountaineers and and people like that, it, it costs their lives. Uh, every day. Okay, so uh, so it was quite deep. Look, if I pull that out, and that one as well. It was all the way down there, but it was all the way back here. I was going to try and roll it back. Actually, now it's out. Let's see how deep that is. Could I have rolled it back? It is real boggy though here. Oh no. No, it's about a foot deep. So, there you go, waiting overnight, waiting for the lovely sun to come out in the morning, uh, to dry the floor out a little bit. To be fair, this side was the worst side, and luckily, I'm, everything just comes together if you just, if you just calm down and take your time. That's the side where my diesel eater exhaust comes out. So while I've had the diesel eater on overnight, that's been blowing down towards my passenger side wheel and drying the floor out all night. Okay. So that was a that was a close one. I'm I'm going to leave them rocks and the gravel in there um, to make it more noticeable so no one makes the same silly mistake as I did. I wanted to climb up there but just now when I was looking through the bracken for some rocks <laughs> this is the funny bit okay so we have to add a little bit of comedy normally it's maths and English but today it's comedy <laughs> So this little nice bit here, this is where I wanted to park. <sighs> hey, what an idiot. That's where I wanted to park, look. I just didn't, I just didn't come far enough around the corner. In the words of my old mate Viv, what a wally.